do we keep everybody in mystery? What What is the programming language from the 80s? Maybe we should just keep everybody in mystery. Well, the programming language that I'm using was originally invented by Wayne Radliff at Jet Propulsion Labs. <laughs> oh. And so he figured, well, I need to be able to keep record of the departmental football betting stats. And he thought, well, all these other programming languages are quite difficult to use. And so he programmed his own programming language, especially for being able to keep record of the football betting stats. And he called it Vulcan. And then later, a marketing genius came in and said, no, you can't call it Vulcan. You need to call it DBase. But you also cannot call it DBase. It needs to be called DBase 2, because then people think it's the more sophisticated version than version 1. But DBase turned into a bit of a dud and another company took over and that was then later Microsoft Fox Pro. So I'm using Microsoft Visual Fox Pro, which is the best and strongest uh, successor of the original programming language that was used for the football scores at Jet Propulsion Labs with <laughs> Wayne Radliff. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this simple programming language was able to create enterprise level software. Well, initially he was using it for his betting stat, but it turned out that 3 million programmers found that they could do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. Accounting, bookkeeping, record keeping, address management, all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, but I mean, there's pretty no limit to it. I mean, there's no limit. Today, nowadays, there's almost no limit to any programming language, but it boils down to how fast can you get there to do the stuff that you want. And with Fox Pro, it typically takes much less program code. And amazingly enough, if you ask ChatGPT, what is its favorite programming language? Fox Pro. Wow. <laughs> Amazing.